Thanks a lot for coming along with Life with Belsif. Let's see what's really going on. How are you doing today? Welcome to Life with Belsif. Today on the Belsif Show, hey Google, turn on garage. We're going to put a new Wanderuski. I'm not going to tell you actually, you have to figure it out. I'm going to do something. Friggin' right, I like to put that friggin' thing on. But a hoist, a roist. So, as I said to you before, I wanted to give the old welder some love in here. Because as you know, the old welder is getting a little tired. So we gotta, you know, try to keep this thing somewhat healthy, we do. And by healthy, I mean working properly. So what I got for it is, as you know, I got this ground thing that goes on and you turn it. Boom. And it locks ground, turn it, and it goes off. So that's pretty neat, eh? One of them doodads. And I got a new whip for it because it's broken right here. And as you know, if they get broken right there, they kind of really friggin' suck. They don't work too good, especially if they're broke right there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this thing apart, change that out. So it shouldn't be that hard. I think you just turn this screw and out it comes, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, careful. Pull harder maybe? Something's happening. What was that? Got a little doodaddy. Where'd that come from? There she goes. So we'll cut that wire right there and we'll take this off. So there's the old whipperooski. That was friggin' easy. So we didn't get an actual Hobart whip. I got a yes welder. I heard they're pretty good. What the hell? So he figured why the hell not give it a try? Wow. There it's easy. Slide this wire through a little further. There we go. Cut off the rough end. That I just tried to yank through the pulley. There we go. Get out the new whipperooski, which is right here. Oh, you can come with a tip. But the question is, what tip is in it? So pull this tip off. I should pull this thing off. Well, let's screw the tip. Now have a look, see. It is a three, three seven. What? Three seven? No. Let's leave it in there and see what happens. It must be three zero. My eyes are just dicked. What does it come with? It comes with, let's open this up and have a look, see. We got a the final, and we got a final again. So these are all obviously 3.0 tippers. There's the one we want. Why would it come with one size tip? Well, that's kind of stupid. So we'll get this whip out and we'll stick it in the hole and we'll see what's what. Oh my God, that, that feels good actually. Not too friggin' shabby at all. We'll stick that through here. We'll stick the wire into the doodad and we'll run her into here. There we go. Ease it. We'll stick this back in here. And then we'll plug this in up here. Which does not plug in. Why would it? So we're going to have to change the ends already. So this is for a whole bar 140. Guess what? Ain't wrong. So now i got to cut a welder I just bought. And look at the end. What the hell's up with that, Captain? What's up with that? Oh, should I even do this or should I just send the stupid thing back? What a joke. Whoops. Hey, whoops. I guess we're not sending her back now. Pull that off. At least I have proof on camera. A little bit more, a little bit more, Jim. There we go, right like that. We'll twist this up, shove that in. Give me the little squeeze of rooski. There we go. Take this one back, twist her up, stick her in, clamp her up. If anybody knows which order these go in, leave a comment down below. But we're gonna find out right now. I guess if it doesn't work, it's gonna be backwards, right? Isn't that the way it works? Doesn't work the first time, turn them around. Now I'm not going to be welding, so I'm just going to plug this into a wall somewhere. Right over here, maybe. We'll reach. Yep, sure will. Here we go. We'll turn her on. Let's see if we get some feet action. Oh, yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, new whip installed. Simple as cake. So you can get these with the bendable heads and stuff, but I just got the one that doesn't have a bendable head. Because that's what I do. And actually this looks like it's a little bit more solid than the other one. It's got a little bit more spring and stuff. So hey, we're good to go. Let's shut this off now. Now what we want to do is I'm going to put my new ground on because this thing is just, look at it, just caught. Yeah, I know. Don't ask me how the hell I got ground with that, but I did. So we'll zing this off here. Like so. Take it off of there, like so. Are you watching? Probably not. So we'll take this off like so. 
Or should we leave that on like so? What's your comments? Let me know. Like so? Actually, it probably wouldn't hurt to leave that on. Well, no, it's not going to go over it, so why leave it on? Let me guess. Just as I thought. Not big enough. Why would it be? Do I have one big enough? Maybe. Have one that's twice the size. Well, all I have is this monstrosity. So it's gonna have to work, I guess, because like I said, that does not fit. Even if you drill the hole, it would be too small. This one, mint. See, friggin' right it is. So we have to use this one. So let's get this one off. The easiest way to do that is to cut it. Sorry about that. How you doing? So as I do that, I just take a razor blade and I go, I just go, uh -huh. give it a little twisty and pull and there you go now the reason why i did it so long i know you're gonna say that is because i'm gonna give it a double fold and then i'm gonna stick it in because this is so much bigger and that should be black because it's not a ground so let's get some uh the old shrink wrappage on there and we'll give her the old shrink wrappage job that's not big enough bigger we need a different kit we do what do we got here let's have a gander oh dick they're all the same no goody bigger seen a little piece in here we're gonna have to use it i got one piece left right there there she be so we'll take this we'll slide it on like that and then we'll take it in the vise and we'll give her the squeeze of a lifetime oh yeah we did nothing like a squeeze of a lifetime captain we're gonna have to squeeze her some more we'll squeeze her inwards and then we'll squeeze her outwards again and we'll flatten it back out because i cocked it over and there now I should nope not quite hold on a minute there we go for another hashtag and then we'll give her another slide over oh I think we got her Jim oh yeah there you go just like that and get out the torch give her a little heat dink look at that oh just like it was made for that so there's that so now we can put that on there this on here this on here this on here and we can tighten her up understand what i'm saying probably not because i don't real nice and tight don't be afraid tight is good there we go so that's all there is to that now you just go click boom ground unclick no ground friggin right i'll let you know how it works probably won't work worth a dick but hey i'll let you know anyways because that's what i do so there we go next time we weld together we'll be able to try out the new mikorooski together so that's going to be kind of fun Hey, leave a comment down below. We can't wait for that. I can't wait. New welding mask, new whip, new ground, new welder, some say. One job done. I like one job done. Oh, gotta be careful I don't hit the whip. Gotta put her in sideways. There we go. Dropped every goddamn thing possible here. So now when you buy yourself a welding torch by Yes Weld, you might have to change the ends that plug into the welder. As you see, they didn't fit where the dick. We have the technology to change the ends. If you don't have an end kit in your household, then you're gonna swear to hell about that thing. But there's one project done. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're all watching. Hopefully you like it. Don't forget to subscribe and like and hit the notification if you did. But the next project's in that box right there. And that's for the trailer. That there is some solar panels for the trailer. So leave a comment down below if you wanna see that on the next video. And we'll get her on there for you. But hopefully you enjoyed fixing the welder up. I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for being here. And you know what to do for now.